Craig, thank you for joining us. Uh, today you've announced your, your full support behind uh, the Foundation of Arts' campaign to have a supporter-owned club. Can you tell us how you've come to that decision? Uh, well, I wanted to be um, certain before I, uh, I lent my support to, to anybody who was, uh, was trying to take over the club that um, you know, basically the club was going to be in safe hands. And you know, I've, I've been speaking back and forward to, to Lawrence Brodie, who's the, the PR guy, and uh, asked some questions, and, and basically, um, you know, I've come to the conclusion that you know this is definitely the right way to go. You're obviously impressed enough by the responses you've had from the foundation to to, to lend your full support. Yeah, I think that it's been remarkable the amount of support that the foundation have had from the fans, and um, I that's the most important thing. I mean, you know, I can't recall a club haven't had so many problems and the fans have been asked so many times to, to dig deep and, and pull the club out of trouble. So I'm just hopeful that um, you know, this will be the last time um, the Foundation will eventually get the OK from the, the Lithuanians to, to take over the club and uh, you know, most importantly after that the club can be run uh, in a kind of um, frugal manner if you want to put it that way and make sure that, that we never get back in this position again. You were a highly successful manager here at Tynecastle. You know the, the demands and the expectations of the club inside out. What do you think that the Foundation of Hearts and the supporters together can achieve for this club? Well, you know, I've been fortunate enough to have played here for a long, long time and uh, you know, managed here for a fair period of time as well. And had a, I know how, how loyal the supporters are, and that's been proven in the last, well, particularly the last two years when things have been really tough, you know. So I think whenever you've got everybody pulling together and working for the same cause, then you know I think that's a, an exceptional thing. And on top of that, of course, you've got a, a group of young players and a young manager who are uh, working their backsides off to, to try and keep everybody happy. And, and I must say they're doing a fantastic job so far. A quick word on those supporters, Craig. How impressed have you been by how they've really galvanised and rallied around this club? Well, it just shows you how much they love the club. You know, there's a lot of people who who don't have a lot of money who are still uh, investing in the, in the uh, with their direct debits and the bought season tickets and the bought shares and um, you know they're all just desperate for the club to survive. You know, we aren't out of the woods yet. There's still a bit of work to be done. But um, you know, if we don't get there, it certainly won't be from lack of effort from anybody. That's for sure. Well, you say it's certainly not all done and dusted yet, but with news that over 7,000 Hearts fans have pledged to the Foundation of Hearts, you know, the, the positive thing is there's still time for more to come on board if, if they can. Yeah, that's right, and I know that, uh, that the Foundation are, are just trying to, to up the numbers continually just to, to make sure that the club has enough money to, to run. Um, and this is, let's be honest, this, this year and next year are going to be quite tough, you know, there's... Uh, there's money that went into season tickets and shares and more season tickets that's that's disappeared really and um, you know the, the current management and uh, the club, current people running the club aren't going to get the benefit of that. So it's going to be tough for a couple of years um, but with, with the support of these uh, these fans here then I'm, I'm sure everything will be okay. To the product on the park now Craig, how impressed have you been with the way that Hearts have started this campaign? Yeah I was here for the, for the Hibs game, I enjoyed that one. <laughs> And you know, I, the, I mean, sometimes you get young kids in the team, and they can freeze, and they, they lack experience, and they, you know, they can be a little bit disjointed. But I haven't seen that at all. You know, the, the games that I've watched, I saw the I watched the party game on TV, and uh, as I say, I was at the Hibs game. Um, you know, I speak to people regularly about uh, about Hearts and how they're playing, and the young players have, have stepped up to the plate. You know, and, and the manager as well. You know, he's, he's doing a fantastic job. Um, They've got very little experience in the team, and you know to, to pick up the amount of points that they've picked up already, I think, is, is really quite remarkable. I would, you know, I'd caution everybody to just to keep your feet on the ground. You know, there's a long way to go. It's a long season. There's winter months to go through. There's suspensions and injuries and such like, and there'll be a time. And the supporters are, you know, they've been brilliant so far, and uh, I urge everybody uh, that whenever there is a sticky time, and there will be, because no team goes right through the season, particularly with young players and, and managers to, to turn in the performances every week. It will get difficult at times, and uh, you know, I just urge the fans to do exactly as they've been doing and, uh, and support the team. Jake, thank you very much. My pleasure.